I would like to run a large chess freezer on my van. Is there an inverter that could power the freezer from a 12V battery or run from the existing van battery? Welcome. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX would be glad to assist. Switch to Q and A to ensure posting and reading of information. Thanks for understanding. Assured Electrical 41143.5112342294 You should look at the wattage of the freezer or look at the amperage and voltage and multiply those two together and get the wattage. Once you have the wattage then add another 50% to ensure the startup load. You can purchase an inverter for what you need to operate the freezer now that you have the final needs calculated. Drop by an auto parts store or many other large hardware stores to find the correct unit. Amazon is another excellent site for the correct one, as they have sellers that deal in inverters. You can post the voltage, wattage, amperage on the nameplate, and I would be glad to do the calculation and find one appropriate for you. It will be something similar to this one just reply for more info or clarification. Assured Electrical 41143.5285045139 A footnote, U Automotive starting battery is not designed for powering an inverter. It does not have deep reservoirs and thick plates required for the deep cycling that will occur from being repeatedly discharged by an inverter. You will need at least one, if not two, Group 27 deep cycle batteries. When they get to about 10.5 volts the inverter will kick off. At that time you will need an alternator capable of recharging and running the inverter load. For example if the freezer draws 5 amps at 120, that is 50 amps at 12 equals 60 amp alternator, they don't make 50s, leaving only 10 amps for recharging. A 90 amp alt will give you less motor on time, and more peace and quiet. And of course adding more group 27 batteries will give you more run time with the motor off. People tend to think of inverters as their own little supply of grid power. Not. Grid power is unlimited inverter power is very limited by your recharge capacity and battery capacity. The wattage is 290 if there is a unit available would this be able to run off my existing heavy duty van battery with a run off supply while the motor is running or would I need something more substantial? If the engine is running, it will be powered by the alternator and will not drain the battery as long as the alternator keeps an adequate charging rate most trucks and vans have from 90 to 150 amp alternators. My work van is 125 amp. Drop by a dealer and ask them what yours happens to be. They should be able to answer the question very quickly. If you plan on operating strictly by battery, then you need a battery bank to do so and will add significantly to the cost and operation. Normal operation in my area on vans we adapt for freezers on the ice cream trucks riding through the neighborhoods in the summer, only operate the freezers with a van running. They plug the freezers into a receptacle when they arrive back home to keep it maintained when the van is not running. I would still add a group 27 to buy you some time in the event of a breakdown or alternator crapping out. This will protect your products from thawing while you wait for a tow truck to get you to a grid power receptacle. What is a group 27? It is a designation for the size and type of battery. It is a deep cycle battery roughly one-third longer and one-third taller than an automotive starting battery and has a deeper reservoir to catch plate slough without shorting out the plates, and thicker plates. Group 24 is more like the size of an automotive start battery, but has the thicker plates and deeper reservoir for deep cycling. Thank you, XXXXXXXXXX advise. My van has a 150 amp alternator. Would a step-up slash step-down voltage transformer or a 1000 watt plus inverter be okay provided I have a deep cycle battery as backup? 
Can I run a cable from the alternator to keep the battery charged whilst the engine is running? I plug the freezer in when I am at my home and I am currently using the freezer without any other power source, I just really want to safeguard, and have a power source on the van in the event of a breakdown. You stated earlier that the draw from the freezer is 290 watts. That is only a 24 amp draw at 12 volts. A 400 watt inverter will run it. They have surge allowance. Your all can kick out up to 150 amps so there is 126 amp reserve for battery charging, stereos light, AC blower, etc. Yes you can tag a line to additional batteries, but you will need a diode between your starting battery and the alternator terminal to prevent current from the starting battery running to the inverter's group 27 battery via the common connection at the alternator output terminal. The diode needs to be rated for the full 150 amps. A diode is like a backflow preventer or a one-way street. Be sure to get the polarity right or the diode will block current from the alt to the starting battery and instead allow current from the starting battery to flow to the group 27 and inverter. Starting batteries do not live very long when exposed to deep cycling. Group 27s are designed explicitly for deep cycling. In this configuration you can run the inverter with the engine off until the low voltage protection engages, start the engine with the unaffected starting battery, and run the inverter and charge the group 27 off the alternator. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.